All right, so just leaving Navajo Bridge in that you saw in the last video and uh, heading to a place that I found on freecampsites.net. It's a free dispersed camping and it says it's Badger Creek Campground, so I don't know if it's an actual campground or not, but I'm going to find that camping spot. It was on freecampsites.net and it is a road that has mixed reviews. Some people say that you have to have a 4x4 four four in order to travel on the road, but other people who've been out there who've reviewed it said that as long as you have decent clearance, you should be able to make it. The campground, camping spots, are a good, I can't remember, many, many miles out and on the edge of the Colorado River, very quiet, very peaceful, and good internet from what I read. So that's where I'm heading. I'm a little nervous to <laughs> uh, see what the road is going to look like, but I'm also hopeful. So join me as I find a place to camp today. Let's go. What are we going to find? Okay, so we're getting close. The place I'm going to camp is going to be out there somewhere because there are going to be views of the Colorado River. I'm so excited. I hope I can get out there. Uh, I don't know. I'm a little nervous. We have Navajo luck on our side, right? All right, so here I am at the spot. I thought there was a campground around here where I could get water. I only have a quarter of a tank of water. So I'm not sure I want to go on a really rough road that's going to take me 45 minutes to go a couple miles if I have to come out in a couple days for water. So let's go check it out. Sorry, Capone, but you have to Here's stay. the gate. I heard you go through the gate. Oh, so yeah, coming down from the road. Look at that. Yeah, that wasn't that great but I made it I didn't scrape and then here's the road so okay this is not a big deal. I can do this. This isn't bad definitely done worse than this. So the challenge with this always is um, making sure I don't get to a place where I'm going to get stuck, where I can't turn around. Uh, you know, I can always drive a little ways, get out and explore on foot. Um, so one of the things I look for when I'm exploring or when I'm um, scoping out a site, scouting a site, is that I can find a place to turn around. Even if I have to back up, I've gotten pretty good at backing that thing up. Even if I have to back up a quarter of a mile, I don't think I've done it quite that much. Um, a few hundred feet, but even if I have to do that um, to back up, that's fine. But, you know, I, I don't want to have to back up three miles. And right here is a place to back up. So I don't know how far. Well, I'm too close to the road, so I wouldn't camp here. This, this isn't bad. I can totally do this. So, so far I'm not seeing anything too scary. They said, oh, um, everybody said, as long as you have a decent clearance vehicle, and at least I do, I have decent clearance. Um, and, you know, my back end being so long, that's always the biggest concern. I don't want that to scrape. My battery's gonna run out, of course. And I'm low on power because the weather's been so bad that I haven't had a lot of solar and 
even though I have a new solenoid, it doesn't work <laughs> unless I push in the button. So when I'm driving, I'm not charging like I should be. You know, so even if I can get a mile back here and find a place to camp, I'm okay with that, but I really wish I could find water. Shoot, I could have gotten water in town. <laughs> no, I could have gotten water at the campground. Oh, ooh, I'm seeing something scary. Oh my goodness, yeah. Okay, I'm seeing something scary. Let's see. No, I can do this. Uh, I think. Yeah, actually, I would just go around this. I don't know if you can see that, this ditch. I can definitely go around that. That's not bad. I thought I might try to straddle it, but I don't need to. I can go around it. This is definitely wide enough. <laughs> yeah, that looks bad. I don't know if I will dare do that. Ugh. This might be a deal breaker. Well, oh, actually, it's not that bad. Yeah. Shit, that might be a deal breaker. Can you see it? There's no way around it. This is too steep. Yeah, I'm not gonna be able to do that. <sighs> Shoot. Maybe I can. No. No. I'd scrape. That's, I'm not going to be able to make that. Bummer. Okay, I don't have a plan B today. Where the fuck am I going to camp? Yeah, that right there is a deal breaker. I can't do that. I'll bottom out right there. See that? Because I can't get both tires up there. So one tire will go up there, one tire will go there, and I will bottom out. Shit. Bummer. All right. So. It's a mess. Look at the views. I could go up to, maybe I'll go up to Jacob Lake. There's a campground up there. Um, I would love to, it's two o'clock. I would love to keep walking and we'll walk a little further. I'm hungry. <laughs> Shoot. Darn big RV. All right, I'm gonna keep going. I'll probably end up staying in a campground tonight. This is a bummer. It's getting late, it's two o'clock. Another 50 miles to Jacob Lake. It's gonna be cold up there. But. All right. Sad, I'm really sad. Yeah, no way. Am I trying that? <laughs> nope. So I've come to realize this year, Matilda's my home. I can't be reckless. She's my home. 
Um, and uh, she's not made that well. She's not very sturdy. She's not meant for off-roading. <laughs> so my next vehicle, who knows, my next home. All right, that's a disappointment. It's a major disappointment. Look at the views out there that I was looking at being able to camp at. I was hoping to spend a week out there. There's good internet. It's quiet. It's remote. But I just can't make it. So I'll check in with you later, let you know where I end up. <laughs> a day in the life. It's all part of the adventure. I think that needs to be my tagline. It's all part of the adventure, right? <laughs> Bye. So here's the other one, just a little south, I think, of, um, of the other one. And both of these, or this, the site that I just left is on um, freecampsites.net. It's called Badger Creek Campground. I have that whistling tune from Slab City. Unauthorized removal of minerals, United States Department of the Interior, Bureau of Land Management. Ooh, this road looks promising. Okay, this looks very promising. I see a spot down there. Oh, oh my gosh, I see a couple spots. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. <laughs> it's a little close to those houses over there. But it is BLM land. I can definitely do this in my rig. Let's see how far I can get. Oh my god, yay! For one thing, I need to get my solar panels out. <laughs> I think the next few days are going to be kind of cloudy. Look it, this is a spot. All right, here we go. This a home for the night. Ha. Yeah, this is nice. Ooh, it's a little soft. Shit. Ooh, that might be too soft. Now I'm afraid to back up. Okay, so this is where I end up getting stuck, trying to level out. So I'm probably gonna call it level enough. I really just wanna get my solar panels out. And look, it is pretty soft, so I don't wanna keep going back and forth. I think this is gonna be level enough. So, oh, let me show you. Can you see? Yeah, it's a little bit off. I and mean, maybe I'll pull out my levelers. Let me see what I look like the other way. Uh, behind me my other level oh wow actually so front to back I'm totally level I'm calling that home walking through oh yeah we're good so I'm gonna put out my solar panels because I'm running out of power and we'll show you this home is in a the spot I pulled into last night and it was good for the night and I actually even thought I might stay here uh, another day or so um, but I am close to can you see behind me back there uh, there are houses 
and uh, I don't know I feel kind of weird I feel like I'm camping in their front yard so it feels a little weird so I'd like to get a little further out I'm also right next to the road I'm also right next to the road how do I look I don't even think I've brushed my teeth yet <laughs> um, yeah we're getting up close and personal huh <laughs> okay so and I'm also really close to the road which is right there and um, again this camera is broken so I can't zoom in um, one of the things I need to do in the next couple days is look up my backup I have two back I have two cameras that I can do video on and uh, I need to figure out how to get those to work so yeah so I'm close to the road it's quiet here though it's really nice but on my morning walk this morning way out there well not way I walked a mile out and there is a great spot out there it's kind of more in direct line with the houses over here but it's further away um, so I think I'm gonna drive out there there's a couple spots that might be a little iffy they're kind of steep going in and up gully like things so and there's also something way out there Maybe I should just go explore that road. As long as I'm packing up. There is a camper out there. It looks pretty big. It looks like it's probably a Class C or a Class A. All I can see is a white speck. I don't think you can see it at all. Oh, decisions, decisions. Do I want to go out on the road and explore that? Take a risk or go with what I know, which is also a risk. Which one would you choose? That way or the, uh, the the road unknown? You know what? I think I'm gonna go with what I know. All right, I'm gonna pack up real quick and we'll head out there and I think I'll spend a few days out there. There's good internet here. Actually, I can upload videos pretty fast. So uh, yeah. Yeah, actually I can go out there for a few days. I'm going to need water anyway, and then maybe when I go get water and dump my tanks at the campground nearby, I can um, check out the other area, because I want to be here a while, until the weather gets better in other places. Okay, see you soon.